Uh, welcome back to Transcended Institute. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about functions. So, um, if you want to understand the relations and mapping, um, the domain, how to find the domain of the rational function, how to sketch the piecewise function, and of course, a lot of things under functions. Let's begin our discussion with relations and mapping. So, the first question that I have is, uh, let A be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and B be equal to negative 2, neg 1, 0, 1, 2. Which of the following set are ordered pairs represent the function from A to B? And for each pair, state the domain and the range. Then, after that, they are saying that you can, you can represent the ordered pair in form of arrow diagram to see the picture. Now, one thing I want you guys to understand from here is that uh, when we're talking about the domain, we're talking about the x values. So, x is the domain. And the y values, this is now what? The range. Okay? So, another, another thing that I want you to understand is that I'm going to have x. I'm going to have y. The first thing that comes first, this is x, this is x, this is x, this is also x. The remaining ones are y. We, we do know that the coordinate is x, y. Okay? So, meaning that the domain, the domain in this case for the first one, if I want to find the domain, I'm going to say it's 0, 1, 2, 3. What of the range? The range, these are y values. So the range is going to be, we're starting with the lowest number, that is negative 2, then 0, 1, 2. That's my range. Now, I'm going to represent this in an arrow diagram. So I have got, in x, I have got 0, that is my domain. I've got 0, 1, 2, 3. So, this is my x, my domain. The y, I have got negative 2, 0, 1, 2. That is my what? That is my y. Now, let us look at this. We have been told that we should use arrow diagrams. We can clearly see that 0 goes with what? 0 goes with 1. So, I'll say 0 from x, then it goes to what? Y. Okay? 1 goes to negative 2. 1 goes to negative 2. Then 2 goes to 0. 2 goes to 0. And 3 goes to 2. 3 goes to 2. Now, from here, let, let me explain. How do you know that this is a function or not? For every input, must have what? must have an output. What I mean is, perhaps you have come across any equation where you are finding two values of x, let's say maybe plus or minus 2. These are the answers. Maybe the equation is y is equal to, let's say x squared minus 4. Okay? Then you equate y equal to 0. Now, x, you can have two values of x going to one value of y. That is okay but not the vice versa. So, for every input must have an output. So, in short, what I'm trying to tell you is that for every member of Y must be at least mapped to a member of what X, then that is a function. Okay? So, this is the first case. And I can clearly see that this function is one-to-one -one because one value of X goes to only one value of Y. So then this is one-to-one -one function. So you are going to see the different kind of questions that we are going to come across. For example, part, B, part 2. Let's see part 2. We see if that is a function. So I believe at this point you can now rest the domain. So what I'm going to do is, the x values, I have got 0, 2, 1, 3, 1. So I've got 0. Okay. What else do I have? 1, 2, 3. That is my x value. 
at, at the same time that is my domain so you represent the domain the way I presented the first one the y value we start with negative 2 negative 1 so we have negative 2 negative 1 what else then I have do I have 1 yes I have 1 then 2 so I have 1 then 2 so that is my what my y my range so this is my x this is my y at the same time the domain is 0 1 2 3 the range is negative 2 1 negative 1 1 2 okay now let us map we see if this is a function or not so uh, 0 to negative 1 0 goes to negative 1 0 will go to negative 1 what else 2 goes to 2 2 goes to 2 then 1 goes to I have got also 0 I've forgotten 0 on range so there should be 0 then there's 1 here there's a 0 here on 3 1 goes to what 1 goes to negative 2 and the 3 3 goes to 0 at the same time 1 goes to 1 as well okay so 1 goes to 1 this is what I was telling you <clears throat> before I explain if this is a function or not let's first do this so I'm going to to t to to simplify this thing in this manner so let's do this whenever we are talking about x value think of what think of a wife whenever we're talking about the y value think of a man so let me say think of this is a lady then think of this is what a man it is okay for a man to marry more than one wife that is perfect cool so one man can have more than one wife so meaning that if i have got two if i have got one uh, more than one value of x going to y for example let's say i have got um a b c going to just d that is fine because one man can marry two ladies or can marry three ladies but not the vice versa okay one one lady cannot get married to more than one man that is a taboo it's not possible okay so that is you need to remember this this is the relationship which is there between x and y so like if i see here this x one is going to more than one value so it maps into this and also into one it's not possible one lady cannot get married to two men so this is not a function it's not a function but if this was the opposite two values of x going to one value of y is fine that is a function okay so this is not a function okay so I'll now go to what to part, part 3 so part 3 if I can see the domain you list the domain like the way I listed on uh, part 1 so domain I have got 0 what other numbers do I have I have got 1 what other numbers do I have? 2, 3. That's my domain. So I'll list there to say my domain. I do this. 0, 1, 2, 3. That's my domain. Then I also have the range that's with um, also 0. So I've got 0. Let's see. What other things do I have? I have 0. Um, yeah, I only have zero, 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 zero. So I'll put this zero in between. So 
so this is x this is y let's now map so 0 goes to 0 1 goes to 0 2 goes to 0 3 goes to 0 yes it's fine so this is x I've swapped this y this is x this is y it's all right so four ladies are getting married to one man that is cool so <clears throat> more than one different values of x can go to only one value of y but not the, op the opposite now i'm going to leave party four for you you do it for me and then post the answer in the what in the comment section another thing that i want you to understand is that if at all i have got a b c d e f so this is the domain and this is the range so if at all I have got a scenario where um, this is mapped into that, okay, and this is mapped into that, and also this is mapped into here. Then, if all the elements of X are mapped, but some members of Y are not mapped to anything, that is not a function. But the opposite is true. What do I mean? If I come across any function that is like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's, let's now look at this. If this is my X, this is my Y. This one goes there. This one goes here. And then this one. Um, okay. This one goes here. And the, the, the focus should just be on Y. Okay? So if all the members of Y are mapped to at least something from X, then that's okay. Even if the X guy is not mapped to anything to Y, that is okay. So this is a function. I'll conclude that this is a function. There is no debate about that. That is a function. It is possible I can find I can have x value, but this x value is not going to be part of the solution to y. It's fine. Now, based on this information that I've given you guys, try to solve part 4. Try to solve this question and send the answer in the description. Tell me what the domain is. Tell me what the range is. And also try to map, is this a function or not? Give a reason for your answer. I'll be waiting for your answer.